the Untalus Society for the Renewal of the Human Spirit. Overview, a group of interests discovered by the Hispanic branch of the Foundation. The Untalus Society is an organization of similar characteristics to masonry dedicated to esotericism and the study of the occult. Founded in 1953 by Claudine Aperin, this secret society believes in the existence of the great masters, intelligences or entities alien to this physical plane that seek to guide humanity to a new golden age. Described as a world where war, poverty, prejudices of all kinds will disappear and full equality between men will be achieved. The Untalus Society considers certain SCPs to be means of contact with these greater intelligences, such as SCP-ES-011 and SCP-ES-051. The Untalus Society seeks to acquire these SCPs through various methods, either monetary, buying them, or using more aggressive means, such as theft, kidnapping, or extortion. Its members come from all social strata, professions, and nationalities, but they have in common a certain level of education, interest in mysticism, and a clear disagreement with the common world situation. The Unto Society maintains good relations with the Chaos Insurgency and with Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Trading various SCPs among them has tense relations with the Church of the Broken God and an openly aggressive stance towards the Foundation, referred to Incident AS-06-5235. There is no knowledge of the nature of their interactions with other GRI. The Cult of the Great Green God Overview An anomalous religion that arose in the ancient Egyptian Empire at some point during the 12th dynasty, centered on the worship of an entity of vegetal nature called the Great Green God. Apparently extinct for nearly two millennia, this cult has recently experienced a resurgence, especially in South America, in the form of small groups often linked to extreme ecological movements and even eco-terrorists, often also linked to anomalies of Vegetal Nature. The Foundation is in possession of SCP-ES-041, an artifact of great importance for the cult. Special Security Commission Overview Organism of the Franco regime of Spain instituted in 1938 from a specialized body of the Councils of the National Syndicalist Offensive, the JONS and set as a secret organization of the Information Service of the Defense High Command, with the field name Second BIS. Its operations focused on the detection, capture, exploitation, and dismantling of anomalies from a perspective strongly biased towards the national Catholic and authoritarian values of the regime. The organism turns out to be impervious to the efforts of foreign organisms to infiltrate it, including the Foundation. It became part of the Foundation with all its anomalous resources in 1977, with the disintegration of the Information Department and a notable evolution in values, statutes, and personnel. The Cuban Ministry of Anomalies Overview the Cuban Ministry of Anomalies, here and after referred to as CMA, was a Cuban-based occult organization. Instead of focusing on the containment of anomalies, the CMA was largely concerned with turning any anomaly within its scope into a tool for war, espionage, or the production of material goods. Anomalies that could not be used for any of the above purposes were often neutralized or traded to the Soviet Union in exchange for material goods. The CMA was severely weakened after the fall of the Soviet Union and grew P, and even more so after the death of Fidel Castro. 
Although the organization is considered to have disappeared in modern times, a small resistant cell has been reported to exist in rural Venezuela.